Welcome to SmashingBlog.com. Here at Smashing Blog, we're in love with cryptocurrency and all of that good stuff. It's 19th of May 2018, sun is shining and the markets are green, at least at the time of this recording. Good day. Either which way, Smashing Block is pretty optimistic. I believe if the big players on the sidelines waiting to come into the market, you know, all the activity happening with NASDAQ and different stuff, opening trading desks, I think um, I think the future is looking good. I think um, big institutional money is about to hit the market. The question is when and how soon? Okay. Before I go into what I really want to talk to you about this afternoon, which is about buying coins. I mean, people like me, we talk to you, we bang on about all coins and bitcoins and blockchains and tell you all the dazzling benefits, but do you actually know how to go about getting these coins? Right. Smashing Block will give you his view of how he thinks you could approach looking at coins, getting to understand what the coins are and actually getting your hands on them, okay? Before I get into that, let's have a quick look at the markets and I'll give you a recap of what's going on at this point in time, okay? It's 19th of May, it's currently 15.06 p.m. Um, market, let's have a look, market cap, currently, 379 billion dollars uh, we have a trading 24-hour trading volume of 16 billion dollars Bitcoin is currently trading at 8,316 dollars with a market dominance of 37.3 percent best performer so far in the last 24 hours has been elf looking good looking good okay let's get back to this stuff okay so you go into a YouTube channel, a Sunday like me, talking about coins, giving you the facts, or you go into some other channels, you know, some of them, are, they're just like shitting about a certain coin, you get really, really excited and hyped up about the coin, but you don't know how to get into the coin. How do I get my hands on this coin, okay? You've possibly heard about things like Coinbase, where you can go and buy certain coins, but all these other coins, all these other 1,500 plus coins, how do I get my hands on them? So, okay, here's what Smashing Blog thinks you could do when you want to start looking into cryptos. You want to get your hands on some coins, okay? The first thing you need to do is do a bit of research. You know, you've had the, sh the shell, you've had, you've read, somebody's told you about it and you want to jump into it. I think it's Smashing Book would recommend that you don't jump into coins before you've actually done some research, okay? And the best starting point from Smashing Block's point of view is to go to Coin Market Cap. Go to Coin Market Cap and take a look at the coin, look at the price of the coin, okay? That's your starting point. That's your first thing, you look at the price of the coin, can I actually afford to invest in this coin? Okay, then you want to then you should try to get to know a bit more about that coin. So click into the coin, you know, look at the movement in the charts. I mean, how volatile is this is this coin? Click on the website link, go to the website, read about what the proposition is, what they're trying to do in this decentralized space. Okay. Read up about it, check out the team, make sure the team are giving you the the, the, the team are a group of people you can believe in that will deliver what you expect okay you know check out their profiles if you've been in this space for a bit of time you'll possibly be familiar with certain names so you you'll feel a bit more comfortable when you look at teams if you haven't been in this space for a long time it's worthwhile googling the people in that team to understand what they've done and what they've worked on before and stuff like that okay now once you've finished on that website you want to understand okay so what's going on with this coin you know you want to you want to get a bit more information about that coin because 
it's one thing having a coin out there, you know, and the market cap is listed as this and the coin is deemed to be valued at that. Before you jump into any coin, Smashing Local once again recommend that you go check out the development activity on that hub, on that coin. Don't forget, this space is all about tech. Tech means code. Show me the code. Where's the code? Show me the code. We need to have belief and see and ensure that is adequate activity on a certain coin in a certain platform before we get that sense of comfort and know that we can jump in and just put our cash, our hard earned dollars or pounds or euros into this coin. Okay. So go to somewhere like GitHub, you know, read up about Go see how many commits have been made, when the last commits were, you know, check out the activity levels on our GitHub, okay. On Coin Checkup, once again, you can get a good overview of that coin. It'll tell you, it'll, it'll give you information about commits. You can also go to Coin Code Cap, once again, you can get some information on activity development activity on that coin you can see it's ranking with other coins and, and how much activity has been happening on the other coins to give you a view about is this are they really working is this moving i mean will they actually meet this roadmap that was outlined on their website i mean can they actually meet those targets are they getting there okay okay once you've done that you feel if you have a certain level of comfort oh sorry Big other one before I forget, okay? Make sure that you understand the other players in this space, understand what they are doing in this space, understand how the proposition from the coin you're about to invest in differs from what the other players are doing. It has to be something different. It has to be bringing something special. It has to be bringing extreme value to this space, okay? So I've researched the coin and different stuff. I'm ready to jump into it. I'm ready to go in and buy that coin, but now I need to understand how do I get in there to buy that coin, okay? Now, there's one other thing I would say to you. I mean, before you take that further step, it might be good to have a little think, okay? On a scale of one to four Lambos, how many Lambos do I give this, this coin? If you give it one, you put in one Lambo's worth of cash for me, so you're putting in a hundred quid, that's 25 quid, okay? That's what Smashing Block would recommend. You think about, you have a scale and work out what does this coin mean to me, okay? So, you've worked out, okay, I, I, I've looked into this coin, I like it, and I still want to go ahead with this coin. So, how do I get the coin? Only a limited number of exchanges out there actually carry out fiat to crypto sales. And even in that instance, you can only buy a very select number of cryptos on these exchanges, okay? Fiat is cash, okay? So um, if you want to buy most of the altcoins out there, you need to go possibly onto one of these exchanges like Coinbase you to go on there and buy your Bitcoin or your Ethereum or your Litecoin. You also need to register on a different exchange that covers most of the other coins. Exchanges like Binance, KuCoin, Bittrex, the stacks out there. You, you go onto those exchanges and you register. Once you've been verified, what you could then do is you can send the Bitcoin or the Ether or the Litecoin that you bought on Coinbase, you send that through to Bittrex or Binance or KuCoin or which, whichever to your wallet on this other exchange. Once your Bitcoin has cleared and is available in this exchange then you're able to select the coin the old coin you want to invest in and you can buy it using the Bitcoin or the Ethereum or the Litecoin that you 
transferred over from Coinbase. Okay, and that's how you buy your altcoins. Most of the altcoins out there, possibly I would say around 97, 98 percent of them. Okay, you need to buy them on exchanges. You can buy them on decentralized exchanges. A decentralized exchange is basically a peer-to-peer -peer system. So you buy and you sell. I bought the coin. I need to store it somewhere. Okay, now you've possibly heard a lot about store it offline, store it online, do this and hack. Everything has its risk. Okay, this is well, this is this space is new. We have limited regulation. With this place is just new. Okay, this is and don't forget we talk we're talking about money here. This is this so there are always these massive risks. Currently, there are five different types of wallets. Okay, there's a paper wallet. You, you get it and you print it out or different stuff. You can put it into your wallet to file it away or different stuff. It's pretty old school. Not. Yeah. Okay. Then you have your web wallet. Now your web wallet in lots of instances you, you could say is your exchange. You could buy your coins on Binance and leave them on Binance and Binance will hold the keys for you and all you do is log in there from wherever you are. You access your coins, you sell them, you buy more or you know you just yeah okay. It does have its downsides too. As I mentioned earlier this is all about cash so exchanges can be hacked. And we all know that tragic story about Mount Gox. Okay. Then, then we have mobile wallets. Now, mobile wallet is basically an application on your phone, so you, it's has it's it's great. It's with you all the time. Your phone is with you all of the time. But if you lose your phone, you've lost your wallet, and you've you've more than likely lost your keys. Okay, and there will be no way of getting your cash back. Desktop wallet, once again, pretty solid. I mean, it's on your desktop, it's on your laptop, so it's there. You could, it's not in your, on your phone, so you can't really lose it. It's not on paper, so it won't, can't really get damaged. But if your laptop dies, similar to losing your mobile phone, you've possibly lost your keys and you've lost your cash. Okay. You can also get hacked because once again your laptop is normally uh, connected to the internet okay then we have hardware wallets hardware wallets you know you get a lot of shit about hardware wallets and there's a whole bunch of, of different ones out there some of them are rather good you know um, you store your, you buy your crypto you download it to your hardware wallet and you put your hardware wallet just probably like a USB stick or a different thing somewhere you store it and you know your crypto is offline can't be hacked you know can't be stolen from you but you can lose that key you can lose that little hardware wallet you could drop it somewhere this, you know there's a, it's there are risks with every way of storing your cryptos now what most people do in a certain sense and what smashing block in a certain sense would say is you keep your cryptos in different places Okay, you, you possibly have someone on on a on a web wallet and a desktop wallet and a hardware wallet. What most hardcore crypto crypto people do is they keep it in different places, but they have the bulk in hardware wallets, especially if you have a lot invested in this space. Cool. Don't forget, this is not financial advice. Do your own research. Smashing Block only aims to keep you informed, make you understand what's going on in the cryptocurrency space, to get you engaged, to get you going, to get you going. Smashing Block, I hope this has been informative for you. If you like what Smashing Block does, please subscribe, give us a like. Smashing Block, out.